Hi everyone, this is Venkat Narayana from Sonia Technologies. Today I am going to discuss Armstrong number for n digit number in C. This is continuation to previous video, Armstrong number for 3 digit number in C. Please go through previous video before going through this video. What is Armstrong number? Here we have input number 153. This number contains 3 digits 1, 5, 3. So we need to do sum of cubes of individual digits is equal to 153. Here 1 cube plus 5 cube plus 3 cube is equal to 153. So 153 is Armstrong number. Here we have other number 1634. It contains 4 digits 1, 6, 3, 4. We need to do sum of quadruple of induced digits equal to 1634. Here 1 power 4 plus 6 power 4 plus 3 power 4 plus 4 power 4 equal to 1634. If you want to find Armstrong number, First, we need to get individual digits. To find individual digits, we will use modulus and division operator. Here we have input number 153. We need to get individual digits. So 153 divided by 10, quotient is 50 and remainder is 3. We will take this quotient and divide by 10. Here quotient is 1 and remainder is 5. We will take this 1 and divide by 10. Here quotient is 0 and remainder is 1. Here we are getting individual digits like 3, 5, 1. So we will use this logic to find Armstrong numbers. We will discuss this logic using VS code, launch VS code and create C application. First up is read input from command prompt, printf, please provide input number, declare a variable to store input value int input scan of percentage d comma address of input declare a variable to store output here double result equal to 0 int count equal to 0 now we need to find number of digits in the number so here we will use for loop for int temp equal to input temp not equal to 0 count plus plus temp equal to temp divide by 10. Now we need to find Armstrong numbers. Here we need to write the logic. So declare one more for loop for int temp equal to input temp not equal to 0 temp equal to temp divide by 10 int remainder equal to temp modulus 10 result plus equal to here we will use power function to find power of the numbers pow here power function comes under math header file here we need to include math header file power of so this function taking two double values here we will pass integers double data type is bigger than integer so double can store integer type so here we can pass integer values remainder comma count we will get count value from this for loop if input equal to result printf percentage d is Armstrong number comma input else printf percentage d is not Armstrong number comma input. Execute this code, go to run, click on run without debugging. If we are getting error, abort, go to problems, double click on this error. Here we forget to mention semicolon, go to run, click on run without debugging. Now no error, 
Here 153, enter. 153 is Armstrong number. Go to run. Click on run without debugging. 1634, enter. 1634 is Armstrong number. So using this program, we can find Armstrong number for any number. Now we'll debug this program to understand flow of execution. Put breakpoint here. Go to run. Click on start debugging. F11, read input, here 1634, enter, here double result is equal to 0, count is equal to 0. Now we need to count number of digits in the number, here we are using for loop, for temp is equal to input, input is equal to 1634, 1634 assigned to temp, later 1634 not equal to 0, true, 1634 divided by 10, we will get quotient as 163. Here previously count is equal to 0, it will increment one value, that means count is equal to 1. Later, 163 not equal to 0, true. 163 divided by 10. Here temp is equal to 16. Here count is equal to 1, it will increment one value, that means count is equal to 16 not equal to 0, true. 16 divided by 10. Here temp is equal to 1, count increment 1, that means 2 plus 1, 3. 1 not equal to 0, true. 1 divided by 10 will get quotient as 0. Here count is equal to 3, it will increment one value, that means count is equal to 4. That means 1634 contains 4 digits. Here 0 not equal to 0, false, it exits from for loop. Here now we are calculating Armstrong number, input assigned to temporary variable, then 1634 not equal to 0, true. Here 1634 modulus 10 will get remainder. The remainder is equal to 4. Here we are using power function, power of remainder, 4 comma count is equal to 4. That means 4 power 4. Here result is equal to 256. Temp is equal to 1634, not equal to 0. Later 163 modulus 10. We get remainder as 3. Then 3 comma 4. That means 3 power 4. F10 result is equal to 337. Here temp is equal to 16. 16 not equal to 0. True. 16 modulus 10 remainder is equal to 6. 6 power 4. F10. Here result is equal to 1633. F11. Temp is equal to 1. 1 not equal to 0. True. Here 1 modulus 10. Here remainder is equal to 1. 1 comma 4. That means 1 power 4. F10 result is equal to 1634. That temp is equal to 1. 1 divided by 10 will get quotient as 0. That means temp is equal to 0. 0 not equal to 0. False. It exits from for loop. Now result is equal to 1634. Input is equal to 1634. Both are equal. So 1634 is Armstrong number. Here 1634 is Armstrong number. Using this program, we can find any number is Armstrong number or not. That's it for today. If you like this video, please share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel for future videos. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.